What's going on guys? So today on this Shoki Quick here we're going to take another look at a Beast Box and it is of course from 52 Toys and this is the BB-02 Ghost Dog. Now it is a minor remold and definitely a repaint of the previous ones we've looked at with the BB-01 so he's a slight difference mostly in the head. Other than that it should be pretty cool. I'm doing things a little bit different getting right up close to the box. So you can see right through there he's got a new sign right <laughs> you get a new image right here on the side and a beautiful blue and yellow deco come around here and you got the ghost dog thing and you've got the defense speed courage strength i believe that's no actually it's not even remotely the same ghost dogs don't apparently have very much intelligence and you ghost dog and come over here and top up all the stuff ages 15 plus hey right in the middle of that come to the back you have the transformation instructions which are exactly the same and you've got jojo that guy and the one we've never been able to find so hopefully that one comes out at some point now i have not opened this yet so we're gonna go with get out the little bitty knife cut the little sticker and see what happens yeah there we go and i figured out that these guys are so small i may as well just put the camera down on the table and just do what I gotta do. Okay, so pull him out. The background is literally exactly the same with the internal structure. Really do dig that. The nice schematic look. It just looks neat and you can see it better through there. I like that. Of course, there he is in the little plastic clamshell. Super easy. Just go ahead and yoink that off. Set that aside with all the other stuff. And here we have Ghost Dog, looking pretty cool. Nice and low to the ground, as it were. There we go. So, you know, total redeco of the blues and yellows and even some orange striping. What's, of course, going to be the tail back here. Feels a little bit different. I don't even know how to describe it, but for some reason it feels different. Maybe it's just the plastics that are used. You get D09 right there instead of D10, like our friends we've seen before. So maybe it's the predecessor, technically. I believe that's actually a number one. It's either a number one or a uh, arrow. Not sure, but it looks pretty cool. You've got the same little arrows here, except our triangles, I should say. Warning triangles. Orange, not bad. You should see... Yellow, blue, and all of the others. Oh, pretty much exactly the same. So let's go ahead and get him taken apart. So I want to unpeg from the sides. Go ahead and roll the legs down. Flip them out. Extend. Extend. Turn the feet. Turn the feet. <laughs> That looks a little bit wrong. Flip the tail up. Then pull the neck totally out. And make sure we can get to the itty bitty arms. Is. The itty bitty arms, the tiny little, whatever the thing was, whatever the line is from Meet the Robinsons with the T Rex. And there is the ghost dog. Totally transformed. Man, that is cool. This is, for, this is literally the first time I'm taking it out of the box. This is actually a very, very cool... This one might be my favorite. Oh, I never even considered the dynamic poses of just crouching one leg. Look at that. And it's only a minor remold of the head. But other than that, I really do dig this. I mean, it's pretty cool. Now, you do get... For some reason, I'm, I'm looking it up, you get different, slightly different details and stuff like that with the ghost dog. And I don't mean the molding. There's a special edition ghost dog. It's kind of a Mecha Colors version. You can't get it anymore, but if I can, I will definitely find one. Um, now, you've got yellow paint down here that's actually a little bit splotchy. Not quite as uh, heavy as it should have been right through there. Looks fine right there for the leg stripe. Orange stripe going on there. You've got orange in the little indentations. I like that detail work. That's pretty good. Big orange triangle right under the D09. You've got the orange paint back here on the tail. You've got the gray little bit of the tail hanging out the back. We've got some yellow turn signals, I guess. I don't know. Little spots on the butt. You know, vents for the legs, I guess. 
looks pretty good. I like the yellow feet on it. You know, I'm used to the white feet of the normal ones. Now, as for the head, that's a little bit different. It's got almost a Carnotaurus style head here with some horns. Now, this part seems like this is painted for sure. So, there's I think that's yellow plastic. So, this is painted. This is molded. The horns are clearly painted in yellow. I really do dig that. You got the orange there on the cheek vents. You got yellow completely underneath the jaws. And you've got a full-on yellow insert inside the mouth. Man, I like the color contrast. Now, I'm guessing because these guys don't have eyes, that's why they're a little bit stupider. They probably have a little bit less intelligence. They're probably just following blind programming. No pun intended. Actually, totally pun intended. Uh, part of me, really, due to, the, <laughs> due to all of the uh, IBO kits I've done, I really want to paint those things. Now, I, I was talking to Zeta Gumpla earlier, because I actually, you know, the v review the other day, the video the other day, convinced him to go ahead and buy some for his uh, kid, and we were just talking about it. This one would be fun to go ahead and get some, and even do a repaint or two of it. I think that this one would make a good mouser for, like, the, uh, that's, what I, that's the word I couldn't think of the other day. So, realistically, like, get rid of the tail... Paint it all in silver with some maybe some red or purple accents, and you straight up have a mouser. I mean, get rid of the arms realistically, like tuck tuck the arms away, and you have a mouser from from uh, Ninja Turtles. So that's pretty cool. And also, realistically, if I got one of these and I wanted to make it that mecha color, it really would not be super difficult. So I think these guys are really fun. I think they're really cute, even the ones without eyes, like this one. He looks a little bit more menacing, and I kind of dig that, you know? <laughs> He's like, something about not having eyes and having those big plates really makes it more menacing. And actually, the yellow inside the mouth, man, that guy is definitely cool. That's going to be, that's, that's definitely going to be a thumbnail right there. That's awesome. So, real quick, let's go ahead and bring in his predecessors here. So the BB O ones, and of course the D tens. So he's a D, he's a D nine, which means these guys are technically above him development wise. So maybe it's because these have more intelligence. Like I said, I don't have a story for this. I just knocked the camera. I'm sorry. I don't have a story to go with these guys, and I want to know what the deal is with them. I want to know. Like I should give him the short neck for fun. You know, let's, let's see if I can get him to lean the same way like apparently ghost dog is very good at, at leaning sideways whereas the other guys seem to be having difficulties with that there we go that's a good looking good looking group of dinos well and i want to get him yeah look at that sass yeah all right let's back out just a little bit and we'll go ahead and bring out a couple of momas here show off the whole beast box collection so we got the elephants and the others i think this is awesome i'm gonna get another picture i'm definitely gonna keep collecting these things i might go ahead and get the jojos that is the gorillas i'd really like those but they are a little bit more pricey also they have the neon blue version of the momo or the elephants there is a neon ver blue version of these guys but it's more expensive however i might get the sakura version as well as the Mahjong version, the Mahjong 3 set. I'm really, really excited about getting those. I like the green and black color set for that. But guys, if you like these little guys as much as I do, make sure you leave a thumbs up on this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you are new here and you're not really subscribed. So that'd be the only reason to subscribe, right? Yep, thought so. <laughs> oh, I, did I bring out Wally? I don't remember if I brought out Wally. There he is. And, guys, I want to thank my patrons as usual, John, Andy, Steve, and Colby. If you guys want to join the Patreon family, be a patroneer. Go right there on the uh, website thingy, link, those things. Yes, in the description down below. <laughs> I'm tired. It's late on a Sunday. But I'll catch you guys on the next review. Remember, as always, keep on dino boxing? Keep on boxing, maybe? Yeah, boxing. Okay. <laughs> I'll see you guys later.